Hi, I'm Andy, a collection specialist at Credit Sage, and my goal is to help people learn how they can remove Phoenix Financial Services from their credit report. And in many cases, this is without paying the debt at all. So if that's you or even someone you know, I'm confident that you're going to walk away from this video knowing what the ne next best step is to take. So uh, now, of course, that doesn't mean you shouldn't take action. Uh, you know, for example, if you know uh, or believe that Phoenix Financial Services or any of the other accounts on your credit report are the result of identity theft uh, or have a wrong balance after you've already paid um, or any other issues, major issues that are seriously affecting your life, um, you may be owed a settlement. And we work with a network of local attorneys that will work on your behalf at zero cost, win or lose, um, and this is in addition to getting the accounts deleted permanently. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, if, if there are no issues like that that exist and you just want the account removed from your credit report, we can help with that too. Give us a call today. Our number is in the description below, so you can find that there. Now, today I want to go through some of the most important questions that we get about this company. And uh, the first one I think is really important is, can you be arrested or get jail time for a debt with Phoenix Financial Services? And, excuse me, I put this one at the top of the list because we get a lot of callers that are terrified that this could happen. And, I mean, it makes sense. I mean, few people are really taught how uh, credit and debt work in school. I mean, I, I include myself. I didn't know the answer to this question until I got into the business. Now, fortunately for you, the answer is unless the debt is related specifically to unpaid taxes or unpaid child support, you cannot be arrested or get jail time. So no need to worry about that. Uh, the other thing is that the amount of the debt doesn't matter either. I mean, you could refuse to pay $1,000 or a $1 million, and you will not be arrested or get any jail time. So um, now the obvious question is, who is Phoenix Financial Services, and why are they on your credit report? Well, they are what's referred to as a debt collector or credit collection agency. And... What they do is they buy unpaid accounts, like credit cards, for example, um, often for really cheap. And then they try to collect the full amount from you and in turn making money. So um, I, I'll give you an example. So imagine that, let's say you have a, uh, an unpaid credit card with Capital One and it's just using easy numbers, $1,000. Phoenix Financial Services will could come along in theory and, 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 and buy that debt for maybe $100. But now they don't try to collect the $100. No, they try to collect the full $1,000 from you, which would give them a 10x return on their investment. So, yeah, these companies can make a, a lot of money that way. Um, damaging your credit score by reporting the debt to your credit report is a primary strategy that they have to get you to pay. Um, however, again, what many people don't uh, know is that paying a debt on your credit report does not remove the account attached to it. The account will sit there for seven years, the whole time damaging your score, whether it's paid or not. It's just another line of credit, right? So a lot of the time paying it isn't in your best interest and you could just be wasting your money. Now, in rare cases, paying the debt could even hurt your score further. Um, now, also, in addition to credit reporting, they may scan, send scary letters. Maybe you've already gotten one. They, they, they will call a lot, um, even calling your, your family members and colleagues. Now, again, I, I, I cannot... Uh, stress enough that if a collector has ever threatened you or harassed you during non-business hours, you may be owed a lawsuit. So again, that's another case where you want to give us a call and we can connect you with a local specialist that will take action very quickly. Um, this is a great question. So should you negotiate a settlement with Phoenix Financial Services? 
So it's a little complicated. Settling your debt with Phoenix Financial Services really depends on your goal. Uh, typically, if you are wanting to improve your credit score, paying isn't the best option. Now, why? Well, because, um, well, as I mentioned before, even if you pay the collection, it will remain on your credit score, uh, credit report for seven years, damaging your score that entire time. Instead, we always recommend working with an expert like us to remove these accounts from, from, from altogether for you, right? Um, and what we do is, is if certain issues exist, the accounts may be removed, and this is a win-win. You won't have to waste any money uh, paying debt that won't help your score, and the negative account gets removed from your report. So it's perfect. Uh, Oh, which perfect it leads me to the next question. How do you remove Phoenix Credit Financial Services from your credit report? This is a great question. Um, and this is how it works. So the Fair Credit Reporting Act gives every person the power to challenge information on their report. Now, I will say that the knowledge required to do this uh, is a bit more involved than it might seem. Um, that's not to say that you shouldn't. Uh, learn how to do it, but but really be prepared to spend some time learning this. You know, it, it could take weeks, months, uh, you know, to really learn how to do it properly. Um, however, if you hire a professional like us to handle it for you and to ensure it's done properly the first time, well, then you uh, uh, can can save the extra time. Uh, and, and we can take care of it for you. Now, we've dealt with Phoenix Financial Services accounts many times in the past, and they, uh, well, I'll just say they regularly have issues. And we've helped numerous clients deal with them, and, and we'd be happy to take care of it for you if you'd prefer. Um, Oh, great, good. How can you get Phoenix Financial Services to stop calling you? Uh, this is one of the more no annoying aspects of companies like this. And um, as I mentioned before, Phoenix Financial Services will be calling you. It's their way of trying to collect the debt that they've purchased, which means, unfortunately, the only reason that they'll stop calling you is if you, well, one, settle your debt with them, or you work with a company like ours to potentially have them removed from your report altogether. Then they stop calling you. Um, will Phoenix Financial Services try suing or garnishing your wages? Now, this is, this is a question I get often. And I want to be honest. Phoenix Financial Services suing you is extremely unlikely. It can happen. And, and it does happen on occasion, but in our experience, it's really rare. And the reason is that there are many laws around how long you can sue for and what they can do if they win, and it's just a long process. However, um, if we're able to find certain issues with the account, like I mentioned before, then they won't be able to collect at all, which is another benefit of using an expert. Uh, what are my rights when dealing with Phoenix Financial Services? So you have the right to dispute any of your debt that Phoenix Financial Services has purchased, okay? It's important to know that Phoenix Financial Services is governed by the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, the FDCPA. And as I mentioned before, the Fair Credit Reporting Act, the FCRA. Now, these acts can seem very complicated, and, and they, they are a, a lot to read. But the, the bottom line is they provide a great deal of power to you, the consumer, if you know how to use it properly. So that's where we come in. If you don't have the time to research these acts, it's not a problem. Call us today to discuss your options. Uh, again, I'll put our number in the description for you. And give us a call. We'll sit down and we'll talk this through. We're here to help. Thanks so much.